crooks. <laughs> we are crooks. Because <laughs> we're... Um, What's that <laughs> word I always say? Blagging it, not blagging it. Blagging, blagging it. it. Yeah, we're blagging it. We're blagging it. <laughs> Is that key? No, don't distract yet. The Curly Cooks of Croydon. Um, the best TV show not on TV. Because... If we were on TV, we'd have to do everything perfectly. And to be quite frank, we can't. No, it's impossible. We have tried. We, we, we have tried. I mean, today, like last night, I came and said, right, we're really organised. We've got everything. The kitchen's all going to be tidy. It's carnage. Absolute carnage. But, as I say every week, what we want from this is, we want people to think you can cook. This is the if third it goes, episode. No, it's fourth. So it's if not, it, the fourth uh, is next week. Oh, right. If it goes wrong, then... Sorry, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Sorry, people are correcting you. Right. If it goes wrong, um, you'll see it go wrong. And you'll see us try and fix it. And sometimes it will, and sometimes it won't. But it will always be edible. Yeah. No, <laughs> and it's usually... The it's the fourth! I'm checking it. I'm Someone just said it was the third. It's the fourth. Okay, now I'll get this out in a minute. I'm trying to do the introduction to the curly poos. Right, that'll do. Got to get me a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Dina is going to cook, is cooking first of all, and she is cooking. Now, we call it shawarma. That's the Arabic way of saying it, shawarma, which is, which is usually, you know, the sliced meats. The di it's our <laughs> favourite. Is that my jewellery? It's our, it's our favourite kind of kebab. When we go to Jordan, where my father's from and my mum and dad are now, um, it used to be when we were kids, we would go first thing to the shawarma joint to get it, and it's the sliced lamb like that. Layers and layers of, of um, a spiced lamb on the pipe. Not on the yeah. pipe. Janine Amory said they eat this in Egypt. That's right. At least That's right. Like, so it's it's really the posh donna, because the donna is all minced, minced, like stuck together. And then this is real. But of course, I'm doing it with mushrooms. And you know what, Dina? And they really look like slices of beef. I know, yeah. I know. <clears throat> and they've got a nice chew to them. But first of all, I'm going to make some homemade hollis. Oh. <clears throat> okay. Now, years ago, we, I got very, very angry when a certain supermarket <gasps> did a line of hummus by a woman named Sarah. Mary or something from Cotswold <laughs> because she had a good history with her hummus and we were like hang on a minute we grew up making hummus we have been making hummus since we were that big um, and on the way we've learnt some new tips um, and one of the ones I've learnt to do is to skin your chickpeas now that might sound a little bit like fiddly Jeez. but I've got a bit more of a life so I don't skin <laughs> It makes the texture a little bit smooth. If you want a chunky texture, that's fine. You don't often find that in a shop bought and hummus. Look. Easy, look. You've oh. heated them. It yeah. just takes seconds. I, I didn't even heat oh, these. these. They look like the heat. tips of yeah. condoms. It's nothing. <laughs> oh, Mark! Don't mention condoms when we're talking about food. He's obviously not getting his oats. Oh. <laughs> Dina! <laughs> See, this is quick. why we we're can't put her on telly. <laughs> I didn't swear. No, it's <laughs> uh, Liz, every single week somebody says to me, oh, God, you really should put that show on television. I went, are you joking? <laughs> you imagine putting my sister on the live right. television. So, in here we've got a tin of chickpeas, just warmed through. Now, Nadja has just remembered that she remembered a top tip where you don't use warm water. When, it, when you mix in tahini, Yeah, because I normally ice, use yeah. this warm water. If you use ice cold water, um, it makes a really nice... It's weird though, because we were always brought up to heat the chickpeas to get a smooth paste. So I wonder if people that are adding iced water don't heat. Because we've always been very ah, satisfied okay. with our smoothness. But if you don't want to do the heating up, just a bit of iced water. So I've got, got really one well. tin of chickpeas. I've got the water in here, I'm going to use some of that Where water. Where are your aprons? Exactly! I find them! I, I put them somewhere to wash them. Sounds good, just up. Oh, I know, so annoying. So annoying. Anyway, one tin of chickpeas, and then you've got two cloves of garlic in there. Oh, so just one second, noises, just one second. Save your chickpea water whenever you open a can of chickpeas, because in vegan world, they make meringue from sugar and chickpea water. Hey, that could be a new thing, part vegan land. <laughs> now I'm always moaning about her implements, but I do rather like this one. Yeah, look oh, at like that. It. I don't make it anymore. Oh, of read it. And don't. Oh, but it pulls out the end. What's that about? Please, you found it. It was in the bedroom tip it, tip for it. weeks. Tip it. Tip it. No, tip it this way. Tip it. What are you doing? Right. 
So, let people you focus. That, you notice when Nadia talks, her ears shut. Let's focus. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I would focus. say is Dina's put in two cloves of garlic. What I would say is start with half a clove of garlic and then keep tasting it because a lot of people don't like too strong a garlic. You don't have to put two. Oh, I don't have to measure. It's juice of half a lemon, but I'm going to measure it just because every lemon's different, which is a bit crazy. Yeah. So I'm if you're put, new to cooking, I'm going to put be two really tablespoons. Well, it's really different. Yeah. Totally juice. That's it. Stop confusing me. Right. Right, you need to shut up now, Mark. Um, so um, I have got a very good friend, Myra, if you're watching. Hi, Myra. Who's got a, an, an awful sort of intolerance to garlic, onion, and leeks. Wow. And we used to laugh at our granddad years ago because he's like, you lot, you Arabs, you bloody stink. Me too, yeah, you're your garlic. Disgusting oh, I onion. can't be eating garlic. This is mum and dad. Can't be eating garlic. It gives me terrible stomachache. But we all thought we all thought he was making it up. We thought he was making it up, but apparently it's the so garlic, leeks, and onions are very high in inulin fibre, the highest form of fibre you can get, oh. and that is what upsets their guts, not the garlic. Is it so an allium issue. Alice, no, no, it's inulin. It's the fibre. It's the fibre. So Myra makes garlic oil to do all her things right. with. Oh, that's but a good so tip. you could put. Garlic, I salt or garlic powder. So if, in if here. you are somebody that feels like, oh, I don't know what it is, I love garlic, but it upsets my stomach. That's replace thanks it. for that, Myra. Replace it. As I always say, and I'm not paid for this, I just genuinely think this is the best garlic powder I've found that doesn't end up tasting like old stale garlic. But what's this? Right, doing? two to three tablespoons of tahini. Tahini is from sesame paste. Anyone, from sesame can someone seeds. find out where Faith is? I'm worried about Faith. Yeah, I'm worried about okay. Faith. She's so, not here again today. A good little thing of salt. I don't measure really. I think you've put about half a teaspoon. Right. I love salt, I can lick it. But, oh, but, me but too. So the salt pig has disappeared from the kitchen. I know. Because the salt S Nazi has taken it away. <laughs> salt pig. <laughs> yeah. The salt <laughs> pig. Because I, I have to admit, I do eat salt out of a salt pig. Do you know what that is, guys? A little bowl that you take. So, but honestly, the family were eating so much salt, I was like... Right. Yeah. A good old glug of olive oil. Look at that. Okay. Have to move quick with these curly cooks. <laughs> oh, she's undone my flipping thing again. Oh, is this the one that doesn't work? Yeah, but I've got, I bought one for, for my mum, so ah. little steps in again. Look ah. at that. I need one of these. Aren't they fabulous? Look, two speeds. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> now you can't use this in the bedroom, Mark. No. Right. Right. A bit more liquid. A bit more water, I think. Oh. So this is, so again, like with hummus, it's one of those things where people have so many different preferences. So you, so that's the basic, and then you work with it. So like, I like it very lemony, and so does my dad, so I might have a whole lemon. Um, I probably would have a, one clove of garlic for a can. My dad might have three. Um, so you've got to keep tasting it. That's a really important bit when you make thing when you're making hummus, isn't it? Yeah. Make it to your taste. Start with all Dina's measurements. Like when you're making a kebab to go in a kebab, you might want it thinner than if you're dipping it because you might want to look at that. You oh. might want to drizzle it. Laura S is asking extra virgin or normal olive oil. I extra virgin gives it. You know, in the supermarket they have extra virgin yes. olive oil hummus with an is extra fifty different? pence on it. It's just got a slightly different taste. Has it? Mm. But extra virgin oil is better for you. Right, let me YouTube have it. says, quote of the day so far, can't use it in the bedroom, Dina. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to give it a little taste test. Perfection. Of course. Mm. Lovely, okay. Do you want me to heat your wrap? Heat my wrap. So, over here. Heat my wrap up. Over heat here. Of course, oh, really? oh, it's a bit garlicky. It? <laughs> so these are my sliced oyster mushrooms they look great that were tossed in cinnamon allspice cardamom black pepper and garlic salt and then roasted in the oven for about 20 minutes and olive oil now i would leave that marinating for two hours so all the spices get infused into the mushroom but you okay. haven't got two hours so i'm going to put the same spices into the aubergine mix now um, i've never seen so many things done to mushrooms yeah, me. I mean, you just think of it. Think of it like chicken. the meat that you would. Yeah, chicken. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like. Right. No, I love mushrooms. I think oh. you get that off. Sorry, I've done oh, that. Is yet. this the wok you were this talking about? This is the wok. First... This is the wok. Oh, this is a. Oh man, you've got wok envy. This is twenty. 
at least 20 years old, this wok. Now, but you might look at that and go, ooh, that wok. That is a seasoned that is wok. A seasoned that will wok. actually give the food more flavour. You use it over and over again. You just wipe out the, the wok, don't you, Martina? Yeah. You don't Where have you yeah. put the sunflower on? I haven't put it anywhere. That's it's a, a wok big and a half. Bit. Jackie Bellino loves mushrooms. Sonia Donovan loves mushrooms. Everyone say if you like, everyone hit the mushroom emoji if you like mushrooms. <laughs> right, so, um... These aubergines have been cut up and julienned, stripped, and salted. What does julienne mean? Julienne, it's a French that word. Shape. That right. shape. Right. Um, can you That's shape. Um, and salted. I I'll show you. Go. Bit more. Stop! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and turn it on a low, please, not a burning heat. Um, so there's, I don't normally salt aubergines. Back in these 70s and 80s, we always salted them. So that was one of our jobs to when get, my mum had a To get rid of the party. bitter skin. I mean, you'd have to do it on a really... We'd lay it out. Yeah. You'd, get, you'd come into my mum's and there'd be like um, tea towels, wouldn't there? Yeah. With aubergine slices, yeah. with all the salt on, drawing out. It was so a you boring job. Really job. Really boring job. But the only it. reason I've done it today is so they're wet because I need them to pick up this corn flour. So, so we're talking about wet aubergines. Mark, stop it. <laughs> So into about, I think I've got about four tablespoons of corn flour in here. I'm going to put a teaspoon great for frying of things. ground allspice. I must do my honey chicken for these guys. A teaspoon of corn flour. Actually, I'm going to just, just under the cinnamon. I just, I just, it was a little bit too strong in those mushrooms. Yeah, that's enough. And ground cardamom, half a teaspoon. Now, if you don't have all these spices and you want to do this, just just even um, like just a really basic yeah. one you could put in. You could choose any spice that you like. Cumin what, would what, be great. Okay. What if you don't have a plastic bag? Just put it in a bowl. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was Aleppo pepper, but you can use normal peppers. Well, where's the salt now? <laughs> Why is this bottle of wine in everything? Because we, we keep trying to drink it. We keep trying to review it. it. This is so... I, listen, we're going to end up, in, honestly, in care big, over this salt. Is it Saxo? What they call right, it? Right. Well, Saxo you, isn't salt. Well, is it? You're going it's, to, no, it's not. Well, it's you're really going vacuum. to talk about Mastica, because oh, I need him here. What the hell are you were going to say? <laughs> Oh, are you going to talk about mass? Oh, no, that's in the baklava. Girls, no, it's we the are Right, well, get on with it. <laughs> right. <laughs> so then. Hey, what? What? What's happening? <laughs> it goes in here. No, no, but I put it in my mouth in there. I don't know what it'd be like in there. Right. No, hang on. Let's try it. It looks like a bag of cocaine. <laughs> okay, guys. So, oh, we on. wanted to, this. If you've got my book, um, oh, stuff I need to <laughs> Stop buying and save my life. Come, come here, come here. I've decided I can't go out on a Friday night anymore because I can't focus. <laughs> so, so this mastic, it's called, and in my book, um, unraveling early today. Oh, what the bloody hell is my book called? Finally, finally saved my life. Finally oh saved my life is stuffed, the name of her book. Stuffed vine leaves, but saved my life. It's my first book. Anyway, in there is a recipe for shawarma. And I use this um, mastique in the um, marinade of the meat. And the amount of people... I had a man offer me, offer, offer me his hand in marriage For over what? this, Dina. Why? Because he, he was missing Dubai and he was missing the shawarma and he did my recipe and he's convinced that it was this that gave the authentic flavour. Dina, yes. you're not even impressed. No. Somebody asked to marry me over putting this in my marinade and uh, you forgot that it. People that asked to marry me over my bread and butter pudding, so there. <laughs> people have asked me oh, to I... marry them over my pavlova. <laughs> and that's not even a lie. So anyway, so what you do so is you just... this looks like crack and that looks like... <laughs> <a game. laughs> this is ridiculous. It's like breaking back. So you just take a few pieces and you crush it. <laughs> right, so this is a resin out of a tree, okay, that comes... Look, only grows on the... I'm telling an interesting thing. Sorry, go on. These trees grow on an island of Chios in Greece. And the Only trees, there. yeah, and the trees secrete this resin and they call them tears, the tears of Chios. Oh. Because when the resin comes up, but you can actually get this and chew it. Chew it, chew it, chew it, chew it, yeah. chew it, and it'd be like a chewing gum. That is the, the basic of basis of is chewing this gum. Like I think amber. 
No. no. You know, like when Jurassic no. Park starts. No. And they're trapped in there. I think I think you can you grow. I think they grow this in this the Middle East as well. This looks so dodgy. Because when this we were looks so, <laughs> everyone's we... saying this is like a scene from Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> what is when going we were on? when we were kids, we, they we. And we'd go to Jordan, they'd give us this, you just chew it like that, and then it becomes chewing gum. Right. And it's the most unbelievably unique flavour, isn't it? Have you got chewing a gum? bit of bread you can try on my aisle, please? Yeah, I can tell that's not right. what we're looking at. Yeah. It, it's, it was smoking, it was smoking. Yeah, it's not now. Top tip. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> right, so I've, I've really cut too much aubergine here. Uh, put them in my You're known for that, Tina. We're only 15 minutes in. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. We normally get to this Breaking Bad Girls of Croydon, says Jackie Bellino. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a sip, please? Sip. I didn't realise how sip. bizarre that looked. Sip! You've You're got all the sips. You've got all the sips. You've had so many bloody sips out this morning. Sorry. I've got five sips and we've run out of sips. I just need to get rid of the Who's washing the effing sips? Maddie. Come home, Maddie. It's Maddie's Saturday job. You are live, Matt. I'm just having a cup of tea and a whisk. <laughs> right, so in we go. <laughs> oh. Okay, I, so I like that, that the fall. oil is ready because we've got that gentle, mm. like, <laughs> you have to listen to it, use all your senses to your are they, This one I'm using is sound. And the others are. <laughs> um, I'm using my eyes <laughs> to see that it's bubbling. Yeah. I'm using my nose to smell if it's got too hot. Yeah. I'm not going to touch it because the oil is hot. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> humbling for time. What are the other yeah. two? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? She said that one. No. See, uh -huh. see how she could do that seamlessly in Go front on. of teachers and they wouldn't know she was helping me. Test. And what's the one other one? And I've done them you all. Sight, sound, sound, touch, taste, taste, hearing. No, sound and hearing. <laughs> <laughs> what's the other one then? I don't know. Oh, Dina. <laughs> Sight, smell, smell, smell. We're sound, we're taste, smelling. touch. We're smelling all the time to see if it's burning. <laughs> Shall I heat your wrap? You really do, yeah, you really do have to. Um, you can't walk away from these. And um, people always <laughs> say, oh, aubergine is so disgusting. Aubergine is only disgusting if you can't cook it. <laughs> if you boil it. Somebody can fight me on that. You can fight me on it. You will. <laughs> you but will you wouldn't never. be wise. You're from Croydon. Oh, we're it's from not Croydon. Wise. We're from Croydon. And don't anyone tell us you can boil an aubergine because it is disgusting. And all those people that have boiled aubergines, you've spoiled aubergines for everybody else. Yeah. You can't boil an aubergine. It has to be griddled or fried or, you know, cooked in the flame and smoked, but you cannot boil it. So if you've ever had a boiled aubergine, if you've ever had a watery ratatouille, that hasn't yeah. got lots of oil on top, and it's like an aubergine is spongy. Don't let that put your aubergine fried like this. It is delicious. Right, did you see how I heated my wrap? So I just put it on the fire like that, and it's so much nicer. You get a little bit of charredness. Yeah. Do you want to put the aubergine? Take oh. that off, get another one. <laughs> Jane Oxley still can't eat aubergine. Why? It's the skin. I, I love aubergine. Oh. When you have somebody cook it for you, you cook it for yourself and you haven't cooked the skin the properly. The skin is delicious. delicious. Okay, I won't cook any more because no. we haven't got any We'll just do time. one wrap. We're just showing you. Just right. showing you. So, uh, let me get that. I'm terrified somebody's going to get injured. Right out of the way. Travelling. Fire blanket. Travelling. Look, she keeps saying I'll keep going in her corner, but I am. You going have in taken my station all day, Dean. One point, she had about six dishes over here. Right. So, on goes the hummus. Now, she wants some rose harissa. Nice. With it. Okay. It okay. On goes the hummus. Honestly, and oh, I've costed this as well. So you're getting 400 grams of hummus for about £1.20 if you're buying little chickpeas, if you're buying suppressor olive oil, if you're a suppressor tahini and little olive oil. And it's £1.20 for 400 grams. It's £1.20 everywhere else for 200 grams. So it's definitely worth making wow. your own. Over here I've got some red onions that have been soaking in water so that you don't get onion breath. Okay, does that stop it then? Yeah, but, but the garlic breath is going to be getting you saving anyone from getting onion breath because no, your garlic no, breath is... Do you know what I mean? When yeah. you just got it hanging when it's like that. It's like spring onion. Though. And it's I, if, if I eat... I, no, <laughs> Tina, believe it or not, there's no more sieves left. Yeah. If I eat onion for lunch, all I want is chocolate. Don't even look out. over here. 
When yeah. you eat spring onions, I want to run for the hills. Yeah. Idiot. So, we are going to sprinkle that with a magic spice way. sumac. Oh, okay. We this. Because this oh. comes from a little berry. Okay. But it gives this exquisite, exquisite lemony taste to things. Um, look at me. I need an apron. <laughs> Emma, sorry. I don't know where she's put them. Okay, so into there. We're going to. Where am I? God, this is taking ages. Do you know who I made Samark with? Who? The drummer of Pink Floyd. What do you mean you made it? For the taste of my life. What, you ground the berries? Yeah, you made sumac. Oh, well, that's flash. Right, where's the aubergines? Fried aubergines. In my station. Right, so the aubergines, the mushrooms. Whoa! Look at that. Are you going anywhere to date? Yeah. You're, where are you going? You're I'm going, going, to, to going to the theatre again. <laughs> I like a bit of shredded cabbage. I think you should warn whoever you're going with to have a bit of garlic. Some cucumber. Some lovely, these are the little sort Radish of Turkish well ones. Radish goes nice in it. Anything. Oh! oh! Open that, please. Pickles. Jalapenos. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Bang. Yeah. Works every time, doesn't it? Though? Yeah. Oh, I hate those. Just one, I think. I've been when they come with a kebab, I just chuck them in the bin. It's terrible, isn't it? Oh. I need a photo of that. You need a photo of that. Instagram. 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 I'll right. take a photo. Who's going to roll it? Uh, I don't think you should roll it. I think people want to see it. What, like that? I eat it like that. Now, what would be nice with that is some Michelle rose. Michelle can get a freeze frame. A recent oil. No, you I can also get us, you could get some lovely um, oatly Greek yogurt and add a bit of fresh mint to it. Oh, that's what we've forgotten. Hang on, sorry. A bit of parsley, a bit of mint. This has been washed, folks. Wash keeping water like that in Good your fridge and they'll stay fresh. Wow, well, the inner starving says Bellex looking at that. No, I don't want tomato because I've got arthritis. Oh. <laughs> I haven't got arthritis, so I'd have tomato in it. So any of the I, I actually funny aubergine and tomatoes and peppers get my joints going, but I'm afraid they're my favourite food, so I can't give them up, but I will cut one out. Look at that, okay. Oh, that's Have you taken a photo of that? That's now? stunning, yeah, she has. Yeah, I didn't take it with the pasta. Hang on. For oh the my gram. gosh, you the smell Everybody of... Everybody say, for the gram. For the gram. The smell for of the, the gram is so good. For the gram. Okay. I'd have put tomato in, but... You're going to roll it. Oh, my Lord. Oh, oh, whack it in your mouth. Oh, whack you it can't. in Not your mouth. Not if you're going to the theatre. Whack it in your mouth. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Oh, well, let's have a look. you! Oh. Oh. Come on, oh. photo. Go on, go on. No. For the gram. For the gram. The gram. <laughs> well, I can't see it. I need to see. It. Hold it. Hold it. No. Uh, <laughs> well, does it matter? That it's a sh person. <laughs> what? <laughs> the best behind. It's okay. Mark's behind us now. <laughs> okay. Right. Oh my lord. Oh. Oh God, it looks good. Oh. That's a nice breakfast. Oh. Mm. Have you got a hangover? No, oh. at all. That looks delicious as an expat. Really? Oh and it smells. Oh. The kitchen mm. is just filled with the most deliciousness. Mm. Mm. So we thought, because Dina was making a very Arabic key dish, I would make a very um, British dish. Jackie Bellino says, now dip it in the bag of white stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Dean's very happy with that. So, uh, so I am making now. When I was the food columnist in, uh, for the Mirror, you saying that, don't you? When I did the well, I was. God, I don't know what else to call myself. <laughs> for years, you know. for like five or six years. Yeah, where um, are their aprons, Ali? See. Yeah, we can't <laughs> find them. So, um, and I made this recipe. It was a macaroni cheese ploughman's. And it was downloaded so many times and people still say to me they make it. So I thought, let's make that in complete opposition to a very Arabic dish. So, because that's what we are. We are mixed and we are very English. My mum's a great cook of French food, so we do a lot of French food as well. So I've got four tablespoons of butter because I'm making a hefty big macaroni cheese. And how many things of flour have I got? Five. Um, five tablespoons of flour. <coughs> And Toffee Apple says, you guys are making all these new ingredients, spices, less scary and interesting. Oh, that's so good. That's nice. That makes us happy. Yeah. And you know, guys, just in case, we will repeat, if you watch every week, 
we will of course be repeat, repeating tips because we're all right doing that because we realize people will join and also we were saying this the other day when we think about how we learn to cook we learn to cook just by watching my mom and my aunties and talking to them and them telling us the same things over and over again and that's how you learn so for instance now we're saying really cook your flour and butter for a good minute or so because otherwise what happens is your 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 sauce tastes of flour. Now Mark made this sauce last week. Similar, Mark made the sauce last week. So this is our base, and we said last week, didn't we, Mark, that it was the base for many things. Yes. Another thing, take the time to heat your milk. So I've got 750 mils of milk. Is there anything different in that yet? Because it looks yellower. Maybe just the butter oh, is a bit different. So and then and then whisk. We want a nice smooth sauce. Now that's the roux. That's what we call the roux. That's what how we thicken our sauce is with the roux. So you can add a little bit. You can be a little bit quicker with. Oh, bum holes. Oh, oh God. Just poured me milk. Yeah, can you do that for me? Just pour it for me. Janine Amory says, Dina, was that nice? Just oh call your camera. <laughs> Which I assume that it's probably one of the best things I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh my wow. God, so good. The mastica helped. She wasn't going to put the mastica in. So now you can you can cook and... Oh, it's I off. I normally just do it with the aubergine. And I thought, we saw some, we were in this lovely um, green glasses the other day and I saw the um, oyster mushrooms. I thought, oh, they'd work really well with the aubergine. And they are really are good. So what would that cost, Dean? A lot of people might say, oh, oyster mushrooms. Well, and... one aubergine would do four wraps. Wow. wow. Aubergine currently in Lidl is about 59 pence. 59 pence. Yeah. A box of oyster mushrooms, Tesco's, I think I'm going to say about 169, something like that. I mean, you're talking under a pound. A wrap. L um, less than that. And I think. why? If somebody said, "Oh, I can't get oyster mushrooms," I'm in Just the back of beyond. Portobello, portobello mushrooms. The big, you know, the big flat yeah. mushrooms. Perfect. Um, so we're nearly there with the sauce. Did you, could you get me some pepper? And salt. Pepper. <laughs> now don't put, don't put too much salt Salty. because <laughs> the cheese is very salty. So the the other great thing about this is it's one pot. You could even cook your pasta. I've already cooked my pasta before you do your sauce in this pot, so we've got loads of washing up. I'm going to see just how quick this is. Okay. Now, if you like your sauce a bit thinner, just add a bit more milk. It's easy. It's easy peasy. Now, Dina says at the moment in Lidl, cheese is... Uh, they've got a light cheddar. Um, 400 grams at £2.59, that is pretty cheap. That's cheap. 400 grams. And then just the cheap macaroni. So it, it, this is a big meal. Pasta's very friend. hard to find in Lidl, it's always sold out. But this is a big meal, just to have a little mm. bit more milk. Lots this of people is... love a mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah this is a big I meal. Mean, you can make that all vegan as well. Yeah. So Dina, tell them what, would you get your oh, would butter, you? show them oh, your butter. My flora plant butter. And would you use oat milk rather than... Oh, um, oat milk. Yeah, I, I would use oat milk rather than almond milk, I think, for this sauce. So this one, the blue one. Andrea Smith asking, is the milk warm that you're adding? I warmed the milk. If you are not used to doing a sauce, warm the milk because it will help you get a smooth sauce. So you saw how I just went, see, look, not a single lump in that. Yeah. So Dina would use that butter. Flora plant salted one. And the best. <laughs> Then we're going to add our white sauce with oil though as well, and that works. So then we're going to add our So at this point, if I wasn't making this a ploughman's, I would add some mustard and I would probably have some fried onions. So you've got your base. You watch Mark make it yesterday, last week. You watch me make it this week. You'll watch us make things again and again. So you can really learn how to cook these things that you're scared of and you spend a fortune on if you buy a jar of it. So I've got 300... Um, grams of cheese and I also grated into there um, a piece about that big of parmesan now when it comes to cheese get mature when you're cooking with it get mature cheese do not get mild because you won't get that cheesy flavor good tip, good tip. I just want to slam my face in that. you have you can use less cheese the stronger the cheese is so if you can get extra extra strong cheese and just use 200 grams 
Or if you're somebody that keeps fresh parmesan, I'm just going to add a little bit more milk. If you're, oh, the only reason I'm adding a little bit more milk is because I've already cooked my pasta. If I hadn't already cooked my pasta, I wouldn't be adding a bit more milk. It's just because I've got to kind of heat it up and get it saucy. So add some parmesan or use extra mature cheese and you're going to reduce your cheese. Wow, look how gorgeous. Doesn't that look divine? Now this is a massive macaroni and cheese. So this is for a family of six or a family of four. Now I know John oh, Tarode, if he sons, was... Two teenage sons. Yeah, and they can have it cold out the fridge later. Now, John Tarode would have such a go at me for not frying that pepper and for putting it in and making the sauce look like ash and earlier. That's what he said to me on MasterChef. But I don't care because actually I like the pepper like this. And you know, <coughs> that is the thing about cooking. You can look at something and go, oh, I'm not sure if I'd like that. As long as you follow the basic idea, you can then, you know, do it your own way. Like I'm watching Dina doing the hummus and I'm thinking, oh, I'd have mine a bit thinner. Oh, I'd have, my, I'd have a bit more garlic. But the base of what she was saying is fantastic. Tanya Bartlett says, one of the first things I learned to cook at school while doing cookery classes a long time ago, never forgot it. So handy to be able to make your own sauces. Exactly. Yeah. And we're going to learn, and we're going to do, we were supposed to be doing a sauce with Mark this week, but we didn't have any bloody tin tomatoes. But we will be showing you that. So obviously I had to prep this before, so it's a bit sticky, that macaroni cheese. Should have just come straight from the um, thingamajig. Okay, so that was a 500, a bag 500, yeah. So the only reason that's not, not mixing brilliantly is because it's cold, the pasta is cold. So stir that in. And you know what? If you're making some, um, you can make this up to this Dawning point. Harvey, by the looks of that, you could feed South London. Yeah, it's massive. <laughs> it's massive. Go Broydon's a very big borough. Is it quite a good dish to cool and reheat? Yeah, it's yeah, brilliant to I'm going to have some of this after my workout. It's brilliant to reheat. You're going to try mine. It's brilliant oh. to reheat. If I haven't eaten it. Yeah. It's brilliant to reheat, and as you say, it's mammoth, and it's probably going to cost you, Dina, how much was that bag of macaroni? You can get a bag of macaroni now for about a pound. So pound and then the cheese, 750 mils of milk. But do you know what, this it's idea be, that we eat... It's going to be like three quid a portion. Less! Two quid a portion. But this idea that we eat too much generally, if yes. you go into restaurants these days, they have a mac and cheese as a side. Oh, wow. You know what's that? I mean, it's that's too much. It's a meal. It's I mean, a really, meal. I would feed seven people with this, but I know people's appetites are really big. It's, it's a massive pot of macaroni and cheese. Man. And just bung Maybe. it in the oven, Maybe. just bung it in the microwave, if you don't have a microwave, a really good way to heat things up, and it's actually my chosen way to heat things up, is a steamer. Every, if you want to do more cooking, invest in a steamer like this. So I put the lump of macaroni cheese in there, some boiled water underneath, and it would just heat it up. And then you could put some veg or something in there as well. Um, Mandy so, Lou says, I made macaroni cheese to get my girl guide cookery bag. Did you? Oh. Okay, so this is ready. Now, <clears throat> you could put this into just under the grill because it's all cooked if everything's hot obviously my my pasta isn't hot but if everything is hot just put it under the grill for five minutes but if not put this in the oven for 20 minutes it's the plowman's this is what makes it the plowman oh why are you looking oh yeah. thanks mark that's nice hey, when i'm cooking it you're a hater i hate branston oh hang on i keep putting a spoon in there I mustn't. I don't whatever you do put this is a really important thing, guys. And, and if you're a, a university person watching me cook, you see how I would not put that spoon back in there? That is really dangerous. To put your fork or spoon or something, then put it into your Branston or put it into your... Because what happens is then that breeds bacteria. Honestly, that's how I can get food poisoning. It must always be a clean spoon. Mark used to get so annoyed with me when we were first together. I went, oh, don't put your spoon back in there. That's right. Okay, so this is the ploughman's. So you can just use some old bread. I haven't put butter on it. You can put butter on it. Steph Schultz, don't like Branston either, but clever idea. But you, yeah, you, you, could, you could do it with chilli. You could do you it like with... Do like pick a lily? Pick a lily. Pick a lily. <laughs> Who invented that stuff? Some wise old geezer. Pick a lily. What is pick a lily? It's cauliflower. Pick a oh. cauliflower. 
<laughs> okay, so all. now I'm just going to put a bit more cheese on the bread. Flipping heck. No, it's, there's still it's only 300 grams of cheese. I'm not putting loads, I'm not putting masses of cheese on the top. I'm really just sprinkling it on the bread. God, Sorry, bit... Dina, what's a good vegan cheese for this? Well, that's a really hard question. Oh. Yeah. It's a nice. really hard question. I would only have flavoured it with the vegan Italian style cheese I get from Lidl, but as I've told you, they, they've just stopped right. making it. So I'm going, if anyone, anyone out there can recommend a really good, strong cheese that I doesn't see taste of coconut, to make your own vegan. I saw, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's going to go in the oven. Negotiating 20, the Henry. For 20 minutes. <laughs> um, Misha, or, I ask, can you put Marmite in it? Yeah, yeah. why not? Absolutely. Just that's the idea, sort of like a bit of old bread and some other flavouring, just to jazz it up a bit so your family go, oh wow. I, I sent to Mark the other day, pubs just don't do proper ploughmans anymore. No. I love a ploughman. I mean, in the, <clears throat> for the vegan, you would have put nutritional yeast into the white sauce yes. to give a really cheesy This is a tang. nutritional yeast. Which is brilliant for everybody. This, this stuff's really, really delicious. Um, I actually didn't use all that cheese, so it was more like... 200? Two, 280, something like that, yeah. Okay. Right, so are we going the state of the cooker? Are we going into my... Now, I have a slight issue that you need to oh, do what? while I'm talking. Um, I need... The raclava tin, I can't find another one that size. Okay, you probably you like put that. your aubergine. I thought you were going to say you need a sieve. You put your aubergine. No, the aubergine is just a thin tray. Right, so... We're going to make some baklava. It's really you simple. Bone, up, yep. You? So in here is 450 grams of granulated sugar, half a pint of water, and a tablespoon of lemon juice. And you have to bring this to a boil. Do not stir it. If you st that will do. <laughs> do not. <laughs> do not stir it because it will crystallise. It's really tempting to get your spoon in there. Okay. Meanwhile, in here, I have got. Uh, three, uh, 250 grams of pistachios and 100 grams of whole almonds, which I toasted in the oven. Now, pistachios are expensive. It works just as well if you do 100 of pistachio and 250 of almonds. You could even do walnuts if you wanted to. Um, Can you do it without pistachio? I think the it's Greeks do the Turks. I do. think it's delicious without um, with just toasted almonds. Yeah, the Greeks really is delicious, um, but it is very different. For me, it's all about the pistachio. I love pistachio nuts though so much. Yeah. So what am I doing now? So I need this to come to a bubble for four to five minutes. Okay. Um, and I could start layering the feeler in the bottom, couldn't I? Well, maybe could maybe I'm a little do, bit ahead of time. Yeah, I'm, a little bit, joking. I've got I'm, I'm just a little bit ahead of myself. Oh. Are we ahead of time, girls? Yeah, oh. this is going to be a very thin baklava. What about Why? that? What about Why? that? Because it's so shallow. Look at that one. Am I allowed no, to go over there? No, you can deep. You can de no, no, no. You can deep it, deep it, deep it. It's deep fine. It, deep it, deep I put it. loads in there. I put three packets of I'm going to show Dina's corner. <laughs> Look, guys. That's Dina's new corner. I'm going to get that one too. Why have you got a Stanley knife? Because I'm going to use it in a minute. Ah. Watch and see. So, with the baklava I made for Nadia, because she's got guests coming on Sunday, I used um, ghee. And so I'm going to just use sunflower oil. Um, you can use coconut oil. But it just is a bit too tangy for me. I love coconut oil. And the is when you melt butter and it, and you know if you melt butter, you get like milk that comes up to the top. So ghee is where the milk has been taken off. And the reason for that is milk burns and pure butter doesn't. So when you're cooking it, when you're cooking at a high heat or you're doing something like this, better to use ghee. You can get it from Indian shops. It's actually, supermarket selling. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can make it yourself. Just heat the butter and then take the milk off. Right. So I'm taking it. I've got a wet, some wet tissue here that I'm going to put over my phyllo to keep it a little bit damp. Now this phyllo is too big um, for my pan, so I've got to cut it to size. Da, da, da. Now, is that boiling too fast? That syrup. Okay. The only thing we've you know, making baklava is so easy. It really is. It's just this fiddly little bit. 
So I'm going to use and, my... And because Vina's moving very fast, she's not using a damp cloth, or are you? I have got a damp oh, yeah. tissue, but... Because it is actually... really important to use a damp cloth. You can just use a bit of kitchen paper like that, because what happens is it dries in seconds. And then when it dries, you can't do a thing. Don't need it. that bit, but you could use it to oh, make I'd something. I would put that in. I would just layer that in willy-nilly. Willy, willy, willy-willy. Um, Harry, like H. That. Harry, says good vegan cheese brand is... Cheese. Cheese. Oh, I bought, they had that in Lidl, didn't they? S-H-W-E. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you for that. Harry, thank you. Does it you melt Harry. well? No. Right, so, there we are. Vaguely cut it to size. I'm just going to put my damp tissue over it in between so it doesn't dry out. So, brushing Boy, the pan. Is this is sunflower. We should use rapeseed. Um... Morning, and of says, course, someone sent me a cup of tea. I'm loving watching this in bed. <laughs> you lucky thing, you're in bed. Yeah. bed. I bet you've been working hard all week, haven't you? You look after yourself. Gist K says, instead of using a scissor, why not use a pizza bowl? Yeah. yeah. Do you think she's got one? Nah. I just thought, what? Why the hell is she doing this? I like a scissor, and our teacher likes a scissor. So does Nanny Di. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Look so at that. effortless. It's like making a bed, it's like putting sheets on a bed. And I have done this with the vegan four of butter, which is really good as well. Okay, so I don't, I'm, I'm working so fast, I don't need to keep covering it up. Um, if you've got any kind of local sort of Turkish, Greek, Cypriot shop, I really do do the best feeler because it's enormous. You can do huge trays of it. Oh, this is nice. Everyone's telling us where they're watching from. Tanya Bartlett. Tell us where you're watching this. Yeah. Right? Tanya Bartlett. I'm watching Lane in a lovely bubble bar. Oh, cool. Wouldn't miss it. Are Bartlett. you hungry? <laughs> Alex Patton. I'm also watching from bed. It's my new Saturday routine. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Oh my god, I'm just, Mrs. I've not got a single pan now. I'm meant to be supervising wallpapering and oh, making tea, but how I'm watching dull. this instead. I'm wallpapering, look. Ah, Do it like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's wrong, Nance? What is going on? I've oh, not got a single saucepan. Why? Single? She's used everything. I have heard. I've used you have. Pan. You've used every single effing pan. <gasps> she swore. <laughs> I, I, I gave it to Oh my I'm god, to... MeTube says you're on my home theatre, you're 150, to, 150 inch no. straight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that is oh, scary. Like that. that is a scary thought. So you can see I'm using actually the whole packet, which is about six layers. Um, Keep going till that's done, that Miss Sugar. Miss Sugar. Elsa Pop, watching from North Yorkshire, just been for a wintry walk. Oh, oh is it frosty oh, there? Is it oh, frosty? Oh. Miriam O'Leary, a bedroom in Cork Island. Oh, that's so lovely. I'm so glad people are watching it from their beds. Yes. Right. Now Huge to... TV as well for MT. Oh, big God, TVs, I don't right? want a big TV. <laughs> right. A lot of people saying they like your blouse, Dina. Oh, thank you. Now, now. This is a funny story. It's not a funny story. I am a f Hang on, your mum and dad have just messaged. On the veranda overlooking the Dead Sea. Oh, oh. show off, show off, bit your nose and blow off. Oh, hi mum, we're talking to you straight after, aren't we? Yeah, sorry, you were saying, you're not a fashion victim. Yeah. Oh, I've done it wrong. <gasps> oh, Dina. Dina. <laughs> <laughs> You were thrown by your I've mom. done this before when I've been making the flour. Oh, right, sure. so into here. <laughs> I need now. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Rose water and orange water. Orange flour water. Okay, you can get these from most supermarkets now. Um, it's a tablespoon. Spoons are gone, so I'm going to... No, it's in there. Dosh it in there. <laughs> Dosh it in there. Everyone's saying hi, Betty and Teddy. You bought there. this, remember? Did I? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was a long time ago. Now you can stir it. This syrup is ready. Oh, smell that, Nadia. Flowers of rose and orange. Oh, my goodness. But you don't want to cook it much beyond this because oh, you want that flavour in yeah. it. Yeah, you want to cook the flavour out. So here's what I made earlier. And I'm just going to put a couple of ladlefuls into the nuts. Ooh. And if you like cardamom, which my Dad, friends... 
Dad will, Dad will be going, is there cardamom in it? Oh, yeah. really? It's he really loves cardamom. Uh, Elaine Dickinson says, better than James Martin on Saturday morning. Woo! The best, the best cookery TV show, not on TV. Right, so we used to just put sugar and rose water into here, but we discovered by putting the syrup in... It makes it sticky. Much, nice much and nicer. sticky. And they really smell those ground almonds now. There's not ground, they're roasted. And also... Doesn't it? Yeah. And also when you cut up the baklava, yeah. it's easier to cut. Oh, that's the bit I'm dreading. I do it... I don't know if I want to do it on telly. So, guys, if you, um, if you have got that first book, we, and you follow my baklava recipe, we have adapted it now where we put some of that syrup right. into it. So just do that. June Allen is watching whilst painting the hall. Oh! oh. Don't fall off that don't, ladder. Don't know. Go careful. Right. Eight out of ten accidents happen in the home. <laughs> yeah. Doing something simple. Oh look, William Anderson. Not seen you before, William. I'm in Oklahoma in the US. Wow! The, the curly cooks make me want to cook. Oh! Yes. Oh. Really love your new segments. It's 4.45 a.m. and I set my timer to uh, watch. Oh, that is Whoa. so amazing. Oh. Oh. Oklahoma, that's Harry, really Harry, uh, the mature cheddar cheese block does melt well and I'm watching from Sydney in Australia. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. Oh, we've gone international. Yeah. yeah. So do do say... they know where Croydon is? <laughs> <laughs> do they know? So basically, Croydon's quite what? Math. What? He's not posh. Yeah, watch Iron Man 2 where Ben Kingsley plays a character who did did he do Hamlet in Croydon? <laughs> did he? Yeah, yeah, he says it. So I've got another packet out here now to do the right. top. And is this quite reasonable, this this stuff? That uh, is about one pound oh, sixty. Okay. Um, would anyone would you doing this properly make your own? Never. Pastry? Never. Never. Someone has to make it at some point. Yeah. But I mean, have you ever seen them make no, it? In the Middle East, would they do it there? Would yeah, they? they would. Oh God, yeah. Do you remember when I tried to make it? Oh, we was did that. that it? We, Mark and I, years ago, did a cookery oh, show yes. for um, the BBC. I mean, it's just literally flour and water, and they and kind I, of whack it, yeah. whack it. Yeah, I had to do that. Yeah. I burnt every single part of my body, not just my fingers, and wow. and produced nothing. I think there are certain things that you have to have learned as a baby sitting watching your mother wow. and I think, or your father obviously, uh, and I think that sort of a thing, Dina, is just... And also fingers made of titanium. It's just in your blood. Yeah. Uh, Tina Davis watching from South East Kent. Oh! L. Peeper 1964 watching from Philadelphia, USA. Yay! Oh. Wow! Oh, this is nice, we should do this every week. Oh, oh, Myra Instance, I'm watching from Perth in Australia. Oh my god, I love this. How does it get out there, Mom? It's, it's YouTube, it can Kate anywhere. Kate Rogers is in, is in Berkshire. Sharon Schlebush, Schlebush is in Cape Town, South Whoa. Africa. Whoa! Gized K is in Denmark. Is there anyone wow. from Croydon? April is from Leamington Spa. <laughs> JJ is from Wimbledon. Miss Sadie C is from Suffolk. Fifi is from Pudsey. Uh, Mrs Mack, Scotland. Oh, I love Helen, that. Helen, 76, South Africa. South Africa. Oh, Carmen Slater, watching from... Oh, going up so fast, watching from New Zealand. <laughs> You're so good, Mark. I don't know how you do New that. Zealand, uh, Connor Harkin, Brixton. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Fiona Grockett, Stoke. Yay! Yay! Ali P, Ipswich. Yay! Yay! <laughs> watching from Crew. I'm oh, sorry, they're going so fast, but there we go. We've got, got quite a few there, didn't we, Cheech? Yeah? Right. Looking Just, good. It's getting a bit hazardous now. On YouTube, the show's gone international. <laughs> watching from Mars, it's a Chelsea girl. <laughs> 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 Dina, right. you can always say, and you can carry on. Yes. Uh, so. uh, can she? Give us that tip again. <laughs> so, like all good art teachers, you've got to have a Stanley blade to do this. Okay. An art? See, yep. Yeah. What? Oh, it's uh, oh, every time I do this, I get in a pickle, and I end up doing it in squares because to do the diamonds, it's such a head. Look how deep Dina's just going in there. It's such a head duck doing head it. Head duck? Yeah, I'll yeah. try not to. Um, can I remove this? Oh, look, straight across now. Straight across. That's how you do it. Oh. Yeah. No. But I get confused. Oh, yeah. To make the diamonds. To make Dina, diamonds. What pan do you want to teach Mark the scrambled eggs? Um, a frying pan? Yeah, why not? A small frying pan. Yeah. Right. Uh, She's nearly there. Nearly. You've got the idea. Yeah. You've got the you've idea. Got the idea. So okay. I just need to show the earlier. one they prepared earlier, but I'd just like to say you need to chuck a little bit of uh, orange flower water over, or, really or like water, that. and it crisps up, or you just use water. 
and crisp up and then it goes in the oven. And where's yeah. the one I made now, earlier? Now, when, when you say water, what I do is I put water like that in my hand, just flick it on the top of the phyllo and it makes it puff up. Not, don't pour water because then you'll get soggy. Come in. Hang on. Coming in for the close-up. Right, here's the one I made earlier. <laughs> oh, look at that. Right, so I, I will tell you that, that because that is made with ghee, it will be a slightly browner. Yummy. Um, but the vegan butter makes it brown. Now I'm scared, I've got to go in. Angela Bieber Lee asks, Dina, has becoming vegan helped to lower your blood pressure? Yes. Oh, right. yes. yes. Screaming and shouting, hasn't it? <laughs> Nanny dies on the line. Dina, do you want to? I can't get it no, out. No, do you want me to do? Yeah, do you want me to do that or you show the wine? Yeah. The wine? Oh, oh yeah, the oh, wine. Oh, that's my plate for my Chinese noodles. <laughs> <laughs> She's used everything. <laughs> right, okay, so wine and coffee. You've just put your McLaren on my Chinese We've got 15 Chinese. minutes. We're at 50. 50? Oh, now you've got to hurry. Something's oh, got to go. Got hurry. Something's got to go. Right, Mark can't do his scrambled egg today. You can't do scrambled egg. No. We'll do it next week. And that goes in the oven for 30 minutes. Two Stay hours. over there. Stay with her. She's telling you about wine. Oh, <laughs> telling you about wine. <laughs> okay, so wine of the week. Well, we bought it last week and I wanted to try it. I need to try it. Where's the corkscrew gone? Oh, dear, you should have opened it before we Right, start. so look at that. I picked it up because I like the bottle first. Oh, yeah, nice. Then I noticed it was organic. Oh. And then I noticed it was vegan. Oh. So, a rosé vegan organic wine from Lidl huh? for £7.59. Now, £7.59 sounds expensive. It's not. It's not for a rosé wine. But I had the corkscrew out, but my sister's trying to stop me drinking. I'm not! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, where is it? Oh, it's jokes. Ah, oh, got it! Got it. Okay. So, um, you may not be familiar that Lidl all have different... You can't, like, I've gone into my Lidl and I've got this, but it doesn't mean you're going to your Lidl and get it, because there, there's some... They're not a franchise, but they've got, they can buy their own wines in. You know, like if you go into every Sainsbury's, they've all got the same. It's not the same in Lidl. So oh, really? it's luck. And I was lucky. So, what time is it for me to be trying wine? We're going to the theatre. 10 to 11. 10 to 11. TV type, TV t is like, is like airport. 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 All right. Now, of course you should serve your rosé nice and chilled. But actually, I've got a bit of a thing about rosé and white wine. I like to taste it not so freezing, because you don't taste the real flavours. Yeah, blast your tongue. Yeah. That's why I drank it warm and cut from corners of cupboards. <laughs> <laughs> Just a tad. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. don't want to be swigging down yeah. a load. North oil, the sun is over the yard arm. Oh. Taste it. Dolly Harvey wants to just confirm, does Dina use Lidl? <laughs> Sometimes. Wow. I am watching That's quite nice, isn't it? That's amazing. That is so nice. So take a look. You can't forget that bottle no, with that beautiful butterfly in it. How much was it? Seven fifty nine. Rosé is expensive. Wow. So it's organic and it's vegan Savory. and it's delicious. Savory. Where it's have delicious. you put the rose flowers? Uh, What's going on in the background over there? Maybe you did. I don't know. I gave you two. It's sort of walking around with I gave you two to now. choose from. Uh, uh, maybe I was tidying up oh, and look, put them away. A load of chopped garlic on garlic. My God. Two people, all this ADHD and a live cookery show, but there you go. You can talk about your own ADHD. <laughs> so look, I wanted to put some more flowers on, but we don't know where they've gone. So there it is. Do you want to hear the crunch? Yes. Oh, wow. Oh. Mm, wow. Mm, mm. Is it good? Oh. It transports you, it's just beautiful. Yeah. Emma Walsh says the 5th of February is Nutella Day. Oh, 5th of February is Nutella Day. Yeah. Underneath the oh, we've got a pre-record for next week, yeah. haven't we? Oh, what a shame. Yeah, I was looking up days, and they've got days for the most ridiculous things. Yeah. There's a, every day of the year they've made a day. There's a dog strap day. <laughs> mm. Okay. Right. Come on in. Have you got a cow of your mind, Dave? Leggings. Junk food corner. Right. Really simple, really quick and easy and delicious. So this is great 
you've come home pissed from the pub and you want something quick and I really like these ramen noodles sataku um, or you've got a hangover or you come home from work and you're knackered and you just need something really quick now this is called this is our junk food corner bit but actually it's not that junk foody it's just really quick and easy now if you don't want loads of fried garlic nice. Yeah, serve the coffee. You can actually mix up this sauce in a bowl, but I'm, I'm wanting the fried garlic because this makes it really special. So, um, just some vegetable oil, not olive oil for this, any sort of vegetable oil. Um, and here I've got four cloves of garlic, sliced. Now, all the different ways that you cut garlic will give you different flavours, yeah. won't it? So when you fry it, or when you slice it, it's not as pungent. It's, it's my favourite way, especially on veg, like pak choy and, and broccoli. But if I'm making a bolognese, I would crush it. Mark's gone to sleep. If I'm making a soup, I would crush it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. He's bored. You're right. He's bored. Okay, so this will be just a few minutes and then we can all go and have a rest. Oh! Check my, check my... Oh, yeah, that's been there ages. Oh, that's done. Oh, oh is it burned? No, it's not burned. Thank God. Thank God. Get it out. Look at that. For all you cheese heads. Oh, my God. That's quite something, isn't it? Yeah. Unctuousness of it. So, going in. So, I would always serve that with a big green salad. I think salad with a mac and cheese is just essential. I really do with a sharp vinaigrette to cut through the cheese. I like bit. green and I like tomato with it. Doesn't it look yum? Look at that. Mmm. A nice crunchy bread on top. What's nice a nice lunch for Nanny Di? Oh, she better be hungry. She's on the line. She keeps uh, saying <laughs> She's calling that's you enough. legends. So look, you see how you get that portion and look, it's hardly been oh done. Oh my gosh, that's hardly been two, gone into. Two, three, four, five, six, easily. Oh, easily. Well, that's a whole centrepiece And that's going to be a it? couple of pounds per person. Less. What and do you think, guys? And the is heading over. Uh, so we've Cheese got, heaven, says JJ. So we've got our, um, let me use this one so it's not too noisy. So we've got our um, our oil is hot now. Now move it about because you don't want, I'm actually going to take it off the heat, you don't want that garlic to burn because if it burns, oh boy, it's disgusting. How's that? How's that? I'm just going to take one out. Give it a little Throw squeeze. it at the wall. No, this is what we, when we went to Italy when we were kids, the Italians got, throw it on the ceiling. So in the 70s, ugh, our ceiling was covered in spaghetti. Yes, but we used to do it on so the ceiling, mate. It sticks. It's ready. Is that ever coming down? Nope. Oh shit! Don't come over here. Oh yeah. Don't, okay. don't, don't come over here. Yeah. Oh, we'll we'll come here. <laughs> so we've got our lovely. We've got lots of garlic, just tick, tick, ticking away. And to that, I'm going to add. Oh, Keep it off the heat. I don't want it any darker than that. But I can't, there's no teaspoon because oh every God. teaspoon has been used by my sister. I didn't use one. This I one for the spices. This chili oil is so good. So good. So I'm having to use a knife. Um, but that again is to taste. Oh, look at that colour, that Dina. So nice. Look at that, the simplicity but of it. You can put that on vegetables, anything. anything. Yeah, that is out of this world, and it's about having that, that garlic especially. Um, Gissin K asking, do you ever cook some Scandinavian dishes or find inspiration in it? Well, I Noodles do. Going in. I do because I have got uh, lovely, gorgeous friends in Sweden, and I visit Sweden a lot. So yes, yeah. love the Scandi inspired dish. Tina loves all things Scandi. Yeah, you do, right? I do. It's quite hard for vegans in Sweden. I must admit, it's a lot of fish. It's a, yeah, just going to put a little bit more of that. 
And reindeer. And reindeer. A lot of berries. I like the berries. Oh, wow, look at that, Tina. Yeah. So you could eat that. Vegans, you could eat yeah. that. And then... Which chilli oil is best, Nadia? Oh. Well, you, to make it is best. Uh, um, I. This one's all right, but sometimes the oil is a little bit gone past the point. Oh, really? So if somebody wants to recommend me one, I would love that. Is this Charles... But uh, you know, the, you know what I'm going to do uh, one week. I'm going to actually make my own chili oil. So look at all that garlic. People are asking, is it hot, medium, or uh, mild? It's chili. medium. This medium. chili. But if you don't want to use the chili oil, the chili oil has a flavour to it. I just love. And I usually have a little bit of cucumber like that. Now. Whoa. So that That's is amazing. base, 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 super easy, okay? All we had was oil, garlic, chilli oil. Um, but what you could do is, if you wanted, you could add some... I don't know what was under that thing that made it go like that. You could add, just after you've fried the garlic, you could add a bit of grated ginger if you wanted to pimp it up a bit. You could... Oh, hang on! Oh, forgot the blimmin'... <laughs> Nuts! Peanuts! Or you could stir While some peanuts. That, James Flanagan says, Mark, will you ask Dino if she'll marry me? I'm only 25. Yes. But I'm big on quality, little on price. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. James is a filmmaker. He's lovely. Yeah. So he made a beautiful film in the pandemic. Beautiful. And sorry, I forgot the one. Peanuts. There you go. Oh. Peanut, garlic, chilli noodles. So if you're allergic to peanuts... Walnuts. Don't put them in. <laughs> yeah, you don't need them. You can put any nut you like, yeah. or you don't have to put nuts. Yeah. Do you want to see me try it? Because honestly, and you know how so many teens now are just obsessed with noodles and pot noodles? You can teach your teens to make this. Show them this film. Yeah, why you have a pot noodle when you can have something fresh? Mmm. 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 Mm. And there's something about... That cucumber. If you had some spring onions, we could chop some spring onions, but I've given you base. base. Junk food corner. Base, Yummy. base. Mm. Biscuit base. So, oh. you wow. done? Done. Dance. Oh, hang on. Oh, shit. It's a present for you. Oh, yeah. Oh. You've got a gadget for me as well. Yeah. I love a present. Oh, my God. What is it? Oh. Saturday TV. Oh, cooking. look at that. It's the show of the week. Oh, bless you. Thank oh. you so much. Can't cook. We'll, we'll cook. We'll cook. <laughs> we'll cook. Oh. It's Emma, brilliant, Emma. That's amazing. We absolutely love it, Emma. <laughs> it's so good. I can't all. Can't cook. We'll cook. That's, that. a, that's such a great photo. It's a great photo. Love it's it. Great. Yeah. Thank so you're you going so out dancing? Yeah. Um, we can do today. Let's do a pair of, let's do a polka. Let's do, let's do a polka. Yeah. Right. A polka. This. Hop step up spring. Hop step up spring. Spring. <laughs> 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 That's the dog's bone. <laughs> anyway, we love you.